Hello everyone. Um, there seems to be some people who are having problems playing Desolation Redux, so I thought I'd give you um, a brief tutorial on how to install it, how to run the mods that you need, um, so you can play it. So, first thing you're going to need is three mods to play on the official server. Just find my mouse. So, we're going to get Steam Workshop. And these are the three you're going to need. You're going to need uh, Cup Terrains. So you need these ones. Cup Terrains Maps, if you're playing it on Chinaris or Chinaris DSR. If you're playing it on um, uh, Molden 2035, you don't need this. Um, and Cup Terrain's core. Now I'd recommend <coughs> running this whatever map you're playing on. So you need to subscribe to that and you need to subscribe to the other one as well. And then last but not least Desolation Redux that one. Not map. Not C Team C4. Desolation Redux, the one with the picture with the their logo. So you subscribe to that. Then you start up Armour 3. Don't do this in A3 launcher. You should be able to do this this way. So I'm just going to unload all. Right, so um before I carry on, I'm just going to show you something, so I'm going to have to swap over to DX Tory for this. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've um, loaded those three months I was talking about before, but um, what I wanted to show you was this. So you're going to survive, which takes you to the um, the multiplayer list. So why do I just put Desolation in there? Just wait for it to. Uh, so for example this one it shows you what it needs. So you need for this one you need community based add-ons and cup weapons 1.91. Um, I'm playing on the official server. Wait for it to show up. Eventually. Damn, this thing can be so slow sometimes. Maybe the server's down. Maybe it's restarting. This uh, that one. Um, it's nicely showing. Normally it shows. Really, wasn't it coming up in recent? Because it's isn't. I don't know today. Did I? Yes, I did. Okay, um, basically what you want to do, see this one is locked, so that either means it's got a password or it's um, restarting. So it's Lingor, oh, it's Icebreakers as well. Um, so let's have a look at this one there, that's not saying what mods, that one's not saying what mods. So this one is basically the same as the, um, the official one. All you need, you don't need the these really, um, but the mods you need are those three. This one's vanilla as well, so those three. So there are some with different maps, like this one's Essica, so if you wanted Essica you'd have to have Essica, you'd have to have Task Force Arrowhead Radio and Community Based Add-ons because that's probably needed for one of those two. Um, so you just need to kind of familiarise yourself with what mods you need to be running. So this one, because it's, um, is this new Chinaris map, so why hasn't this got Cup Terrain's maps then? It's just got Cup, I, I don't see how that would work, but, um, so I think that's, that might be the Desolation uh, Redux Chinaris, I don't know, Trailer Park, so that's the Lingor. So, yeah, basically what you want to do is you want to have a look 
and see what your preferred server's got on it. Um, and I'd, I'd recommend, to be honest, playing on the official servers. So right, I'm going to go back onto uh, Camtasia now, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I unloaded that, so I'm just going to unload it again. I loaded it to uh, to go onto the, so I could show you what I just showed you. So basically, you need three mods running. You need Cup Terrain's core, Cup Terrain's maps, and Desolation Redux. That's it. So then, what you do is you go save as, and then you give it a name. In this case, Desolation Redux, and I'm going to call this official. Because that looks wrong, but it isn't. Official. Save. Right, so as you can see, I've got all these different um, these different presets. So basically, when I click on one of these, it installs the mods that I've chosen. So I give them names that remind me of what they are. So this is Pilgrimage, so it's Pilgrimage Genaris. Um, if I show you on here um, Pilgrimage Trenaris you can see I've got all these mods running with it as well so weapons mods, sound mods um, earplugs enhanced movement, enhanced soundscape realistic AI damages damage mechanics and stuff like that so it's just a question really of getting to know what mods you want to use and Basically, setting up a preset so that you can, so that you know that you're going to be logging on to the right one. So, if I was to pick Desolation Redux, as you can see, it's got Cup Terrain's Core, Cup Terrain's Maps, and Desolation Redux. The same will be Desolation Official, which is the one I just created. Um, where the hell is it? Am I being blind here? I did. Oh, I didn't do it, did I? I didn't do. I click save, so it just saved. So let's do this again. Desolation Redux Official. I know I did wrong now. You hit the. You hit that. So now you can see I've got an official one. So I'm going to delete the um, the Redux one because that that's not really descriptive enough. This one tells me that it's the official server. So I could have like if I wanted to play on that one that was Lingor, I'd have um, the the mods that are needed for that. So I haven't got them on here. I've got a Lingor, but it's not the uh, same one because he had a see Lingor and Dingor. Um, that's that's not the one he was running, he was running someone else, Icebreakers. Anyway, so all you need to do is make sure what you're running. So if I hit play now, it's gonna it's gonna load that preset. Or if you want, you can just do this. This is what I normally do, is I just go up to the preset I want, so I'm sure. I just click that. It starts the it starts Armour 3 up, but it starts it up with those three. So um so then when I get onto the, the armor screen it's going to have the survive and the desolation redux picture where the go for is the box and there's the guy with the uh, motorcycle helmet at the front then I go, I click survive I choose the server I want to go on which would be the official one and then you're in that should not be an issue if you have anything like missing files then you need to, to check the mods again what I'd recommend doing, if you do have anything like that, is first going to um, Steam Workshop and unsubscribing from all the ones like Desolation Redux and um, also um, the uh, Cup Terrain's core. Then go into, uh, I'm just going to go here and then I've got this quicker way of getting there um, so it's wherever your steam steam apps common armor 3 and then you've got workshops so they would disappear from there um, but I've also got some uh, but 
I would suggest making sure that they've gone from there. So let's let's give it a let's do that, shall we? Instead of t talking about it, right? So if I answer, oh, damn, I didn't want to do that. Um, favorite again, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to unsubscribe from that, and let's see if it disappears from here. No, see. Let's just do a refresh just to make sure. Decimation, desolation redux is gone. So you want to make sure that they've gone. Then when you subscribe again, it'll uh, it'll actually here it goes. So I want to load that because that's with that. Yeah, it says updated because I just reinstalled it. That's all. So just make sure if you've got a problem that you um, you unsubscribe from them and just make sure they've gone because if you've got anything left over that's what's going to cause a the problem. Then you subscribe again. Um, with the cup ones I, I'd actually recommend that you instead of getting them from Steam Workshop get them on Amaholic um, and just keep checking them make sure that they're the, the right version. It's just that some things on Steam Workshop can be bugged. Like for example, um, my favourite mission. I was going to keep this short, wasn't I? Uh, which is uh, Pilgrimage, but 1.95 is the most recent one. Um, so let's go to right digits. Um, workshop items so I've got all of these um, and 1.95 as well but it doesn't seem to be there I think he's might have taken it off but you'll notice that I'm not subscribed to them because I downloaded them from his own from his own um, BIS page because they can be buggy on Steam you can get bugs that crop, crop up from time to time. So, as long as you've got the right mods running, in other words, you've got your preset set up and you launch with that preset, you should be able to get on any server that's got those same mods. Okay? So, if you've got any problems, um, if you've got any problems with um, it, says anything about files missing. There's an issue with the <clears throat> the mods you've downloaded, so you need to get rid of them and get them again. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Please come around and subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.